Hi, welcome to another new video. So this is a sketchbook tour. For last year, I had two sketchbooks that I used very heavily. Like, so I already shared uh, one of them over here uh, where I did the limited palette challenges. Um, this is the short front challenge one. All short fronts just to kind of like um, uh, warn you. So this is a A5 size uh, sketchbook. So I made this from my Pao Hong um, paper, which I went to SB to, to do this. Like I made about 52 uh, pages. In year 2023, there's 53 Sundays. So I actually end up with one less page. I love to buy paints. And every time I have a new paint, I would like to try it. And every time I use it in a piece, I would actually put it here. So you know, these are the colors I've tried. Um, the, most of them for, are from Supervision. And then we have some from Streaminka some from white knights so i and also kusakabe if i'm not wrong so these are all the super granulating colors i've not done the videos the review videos yet i don't know it's like long due but yeah when i have time i'll do it this is the first first week um and i was using this color called manganese blue genuine so this is in fact a real pigment i did i did a, a video on the manganese blue manganese so if you'd like to see a little bit more like about it you can go there and then after that the next week i did this one so this was with uh gold brown so this is a supervision uh, colors and then the next one was this place called old happy place so this is in fact a, a storefront it didn't come with a shop house so it was just a shop and i was actually invited by uh, the, the owner to go in and do the, the painting um, and in fact I just took a picture and I went and did it and in the end like I went there again I'm not sure if I can link you to a short so I, I went there for cafe sketching um, I did like the food of course yeah and um, then the, after that I, I because you know I'm also running the, in the limited palette challenge and I have all these four colors for that month so it was like January and that these are the four colors so I decided to use it uh, on the shop. I actually have an urban sketching version of it. Then after that continue, like in February we had, um, this is also from um, um, Supervision, one of the shops in Singapore. And this is also color from Supervision West Lake and the, car, the, the shop. So if you realize from this year on, I actually try to share like um, shops that are a little bit more challenging in the sense there's a perspective to it. I feel like people have started to get the hang of it and some of them are really good at it so I thought yeah let's put in some like challenging things because it has always been like this like a frontal view and then this is also something similar and this time I, I tried to use something more like I, I do a night scene so which is why you see here I was trying to paint I uh, use a paint spray over and then this is a storefront um, and this is a place um, that was supposed like I also went for an urban sketch and I took picture and thought it was really nice um, and this is also one of the, the limited palette challenges that we did also February um, and yeah that's one of the shop pretty similar to the one um, previous one and then we have another one where I use Kusakabe colors called Witch Bodo quite a nice deep red color um, then we have um, this is a supervision color right blue brown right and and i like this I, I think it came from the paint itself it wasn't like i didn't add anything strange to it so it's just from there look at the granulation so beautiful and then this was one of those like limited palette challenges and we had these three secondary colors um, also very complicated shop shop front and this one is also a, a, a wonderful perspective and the color is from uh, supervision right and this is a store, storefront, and uh, it's also a night scene. So I was just trying to use one of the uh, like purple, uh, violet color because I found like for super granulating colors, they tend to give like make a lot of purple colors. And uh, there are not a lot of purple color shops, so it's a little bit hard to use, which is why I use them. Try to use them in other ways, like in, in like a night scene. Then um, this is also another shop uh, with uh, super supervision color, okay? And this is uh, another one with the for our limited palette challenge and this is quite difficult. <laughs> it was one of the more difficult ones because the colors are so so light and they're, they're not that easy to, to paint. The colors are very very light and very great. They are all granulating. This is opaque. So the saving grace was actually the payers gray over here. So this is this place called Natsu um, and the top is like a co-working space called Crane. Right, and this is a storefront again. And here, as, as always, I use the purple in the granulating mixture as like a, the, the base for like having like a dark scene. And then and I use like gouache over here. So I think I had fun with the gouache, right? And then this is a Coach Cafe. So it's um, the brand that makes like a branded bags. 
um, and yeah, they, they, they just happened to have a pop-up at that time and I went down. It's one of the more, more difficult shops that we, um, that we have, a lot of details. Um, and here is a limited palette, if you, as you can see from here, where I actually use just three colours to, to paint this um, place. Um, this is uh, one of the shops in, in Kampong Gulam and uh, I used the supervision. So this is a whole building. They wanted to renovate this place. Um, so I, I just went and did this place before they renovated it. So in fact, this is just the front. That's actually like a, like a tall building at the back, but I didn't think I want to do that. Um, this was used to using the Shiminka color, Academia uh, granulating color. But, um, this is the purple. And then following that, I, we actually had like a collaboration with Overjoy uh, where I shared like four shop houses and then people could paint and then people who finish it could win some like goodies from Overjoy. So this was the first one and I was using the Schmincke Academy Green. Okay, so this is a place in Orchard Road. The uh, reason why I chose these four is because the new uh, Overjoy shop is in Orchard. And um, yeah, not exactly that the same area, but very close by. Um, and you know, it's very hard to find um, shop houses in that area. But Emerald Hill area has two or three stretch of uh, shop houses that you can, you can see. And this is with our limited palette. I love the color. This is one of my favorite color um, now. And then this is Schminker color as well. Also one of the shops in uh, the uh, Emerald Hill. And this one as well. So this is called Ice Gold Beer, also with the uh, Schmincke color. This is with Urban Red, so this is the end of the, this is the, um, the professional series. Um, and yeah, and that's the four, right, that we, that we did for the Overjoy um, challenge. Um, and this one is, oh, we, we went back to Supervision and I used this color called Blue Violet. And this is uh, our limited palette. Uh, with all these four colors over here. And this is a storefront I added a black cat in front. I, I really kudos to the person like opening a shop at such an obscure place, obscure place selling just guitars. Mm. And then this is uh, also using supervision color if I'm not wrong, I added a cat, right? So as you can see like, you know, I started to like think I should add things to my building because it's just building is so boring. Um, then we, we, this is also, uh, also uh, this is a Kusakabe color. So I think I started doing Kusakabe colors. Yeah, so that was also a Kusakabe color. So it's a Kusakabe color. And then I have a cat here. <laughs> should I do like spot the number of cats or something? Yeah, maybe we should do that. It's a limited palette challenge where you see all the colors and this, this is quite a nice place. So if you, you have to see this shop in person because it's just so, so detailed. Um, and the colors are just so soothing. So yeah. All right. And then we have this one. I think I was also using Schmincke color, uh, Academy color. The cat is here. <laughs> and then starting from here, I started to do weird stuff. Okay. So I, of course the cats are here. And can you see from the lines? I started to use my left hand to, to draw. I'm a, I'm a right-hander, so that would be the, you know, the hand to draw. So I realized like sometimes the lines are just so straight. Um, and it's sometimes good to introduce some sort of like challenge. And I, I decided to use my left hand. And as you can see from the lines, they're so crazy wonky, right? <laughs> but I had fun. Like it took me, it took me a while, but it was fun. You see that theme, like it gets worse. So this was also with the Schmincke color. And, and you see the lines getting more wonk wonky. And I have a cat here. Uh, and yeah, this one, like super wonky. I don't really care by this stage, like whatever. And people seem to like it, it's, it's just strange. And I added a cat. <laughs> and this was also with the, with the right, left hand. Uh, and there are two dogs instead. So I didn't have cats, I had two dogs. So I actually wanted to like draw them as um, uh, pugs. I'm not sure if they look like pugs. I try. <laughs> and this is uh, also a Kusakabe color and I was using, yeah, I wasn't even using my left hand. I think I was just straight on like watercolor painting. So I didn't even have lines on this. So I started to do weird stuff, you know. So once you get the hang of, of things, you know, you want to do something strange, different. Um, and I think this is a good chance to actually try stuff. And we have a cat here. Um, and this is also just with watercolor. So I didn't, I didn't use, I think I, no, I didn't even, I didn't use lines. So it's just straight on watercolor. Uh, I mean, I had probably had pencil lines and then I had like watercolor on top of it. And I added a cat. And this is for the limited palette um, challenge. And then this was one of the shops that was shared by a shopfront challenge uh, challenger. 
um, and this was using I was using Husa Kabe colors. So for this one, I didn't actually do weird stuff because that's actually if you see that's two short fronts together, but it's because that shop has it occupies two two buildings, so I don't think I had time to do everything. Like can you know because you need more time for painting watercolor painting, you need more time uh, for for left hand sketch. So I thought this is the fastest way actually, and then I went to Korea. I think, yeah, at that time we went to Korea for the, uh, you know, Suwon um, sketch walk. And this was done just watercolor as well, so I didn't line it. And it was with the turquoise rose mist from White Knights. And this is James. <laughs> so we were all like, wet. we were there for the sketch walk. And then, um, yeah, we, we, we stumbled upon quite a few really nice shop houses in South Korea. And this was one of it. And this was also, this is another one. So this is a more traditional store. And what I did here was ink and wash. So I ink it and then wash over it's a super fast way. And this was using White Knights again. Um, and this was also ink and wash, but I was using a different color ink. Um, and this paint, if I'm not wrong, is actually the uh, Viviva color sheets. And I love how the colors are so bright and, and they are so easy to use and they're so pigmented. You just need a little dab and you get like colors. So this is um, a shop in, in, in South Korea, Suwon in exact. Um, and this is also another shop. Um, this is in, in Seoul and this place is called Dotori Garden. And it's, I actually went there for for breakfast, I think. And it's such a beautiful place. So if you like Ghibli uh, inspired things, you should just go there. Okay. So this was also like straight on watercolor. Like there was no lines and I was using the limited palette challenge colors. Um, and this was just a normal ink and wash, but I was using blue ink, right? Uh, what else? Okay. And this was, oh, this was straight on watercolor. And, but I line it over later on. And then this was with um, uh, those, um, I will put a name here later on, like what this is, because I slipped my mind what this is. Yeah, but it is one of those like um, pigmented powder that when you put in water, it's just gonna like, like, like dissolve and you get like different spots of colors. You can see from here, it's not just one color, like they actually splits into many colors. So this is a kind of a, it's a storefront, but it's, it's different because I was actually doing it in a, kind of a perspective um, and and there's a lot of details in here um, we I actually want to do this for a long time and manage to go down because it was a urban sketch decided to take picture and use this for shopfront challenge and this was also one of those things where I try using um, that that pigment powder um, as you can see it splits into so many colors and and how that works is I, I have like a I did a kind of a, a wax wax pencil first to so put water and then put powder in there and then the week after um, it was just a normal ink and wash if i'm not wrong yeah because it has been a while since i did a normal ink and wash so this was just watercolor so i, I painted with watercolor i light over some of these and this was with the white knight's green mist and then right this wasn't like this was like 51 then we had 52 so 52 i did this one we were doing some postcard exchange and i thought i should actually um you know do a short front challenge so i i made this i i painted it on a postcard paper um and then i yeah and this is of this place called la Mar marel and for this one i i didn't really i didn't think i did something different oh i did a cat <laughs> <laughs> there is a cat here, okay? And then, um, yeah, and then finally, finally, like this is not the last one because um, this is 53, so I realized I have no space because I left this empty. Um, so I went back and did the last one over here. This is a storefront. And I did a cat sitting here, like looking a bit weird. I think it's an ink and wash because I, I did ink it, but it was a bit of a diff different color. So yeah, that's that's the evolution. So if you put them together, you realize my style, like the way the, the stuff that I did like kind of changed. Um, and I think it's in a good way. And having a small sketchbook like this, uh, where you draw, draw every week and when you keep a progress, you check, you can see your progress and you can see how the style can change and how they are different from like the week before or, or months before. So I think this is a good way. Keeping a sketchbook is a good way for you to kind of keep track of your art progress. So I hope you enjoy today's uh, sketchbook tour. And uh, yeah, and I hope you also enjoy the shop fronts. These are all shop houses that you can find in Singapore, except those few like that I did in Seoul and, and, and uh, Suwon. We'll be doing more because every week I do have a shop front challenge and I'm filling the other one up as well. Can you count the number of cats that appear in the sketches? 
put your guesses down. How many cats did you see? Cats are uh, cats, okay? How many cats did you see in today's uh, a sketchbook tour? Um, if you guess correctly, I might give you a prize, okay? Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.